All right. For our final talk, we're very happy to have Naoki Koseki, who will be talking about bridgeland stability on algebraic surfaces in positive characteristic. Thank you very much. And as this is the final talk in this workshop, let's first thank organizers by virtually clapping your hands. <laughs> okay. Okay. So today I want to talk about construction of bridge land stability conditions on algebraic surfaces in positive characteristic. So I always work over the algebraic closed field of arbitrary characteristic. And I will first talk about some general introduction and then discuss about the positive characteristic. And finally, I will say something about the proof. Okay. So let me first, let me start with introduction. So to construct nice moduli space of vector bundles, we need a notion of stability. For example, there's a classical Manford's slope stability. which I also denote by new H stability, where H is an ample divisor. And actually, uh, we can form a quad projective uh, moduli scheme of finite type parameterizing slope semi-stable sheaves or vector bundles with fixed chain character B. And yeah, in this conference, we learned uh, various studies about the properties of this moduli space. But the first question, the most fundamental question would be the non-emptiness. And the Bogomorov Jizika inequality uh, gives the uh, constraints on chan character V. So here's a Bogomorov Jizuka inequality. So here I assume characteristic is zero. Then uh, sorry, and let X be a smooth projective variety of dimension n, bigger than or equal to 2, and fix an ample divisor on X. Then, for every E mu H semi-stable vector bundle, We have an inequality like this, where delta is defined as chan one square minus two chan zero chan two. So this is the 
for the mode of G is the guy inequality. And uh, there are lots of applications of BG inequality. Again, in characteristic zero. The first one I want to introduce is the Kodaira vanishing on the surface that states that for every ample divisor H on the surface we have the vanishing of the uh, first cohomology group and the, this fact is proved as follows so if the cohomology group is non-zero we obtain a non-split sorry exact sequence like this and then one can show that E is slope stable So, by BG inequality, we get a um, we get delta E bigger than or equal to zero, which is H square minus two times two times H square over two which is minus h square so this contradicts that h is ample so yeah this is the so-called Rider's method proving Kodaira vanishing in dimension 2 also uh, it is known that BG inequality implies the existence of a family of bridge land stability conditions on surfaces or more generally a family of tilt stability in higher dimension and then there's a lot of applications of war crossing technique of bridge and stability or tilt stability to various problems in algebraic geometry. For example, to birational geometry or brillionator type problem, and also invariance of the moduli and study of auto-equivalence group of the derived category and so on and yeah in this workshop we we learned a lot of such uh, results yes yeah this this is the introduction to the topic and 
let me move to the positive characteristic the problem is that it is known that original bg inequality does not hold in positive characteristic which is related to the failure of Kodaira vanishing in positive characteristic and so uh, it was not known whether there's Bridgeland stability conditions on on arbitrary surfaces in positive characteristic or where whether there exists tilt stability in higher dimension. So here's uh, my main theorem today. So let S be a smooth projective surface defined over the I mean in the positive characteristic and H be a, any ample divisor uh, then firstly for every uh, slope semi-stable vector bundle we have a following inequality so of this form where the first term is the usual discriminant and the second term is the modified term with some constant and depends on chan zero square here the constant is defined as follows so let let me denote by t the minimal model of of s then firstly if the Kodaira dimension is 2 then we define the constant Cs to be 5 kt square minus chi of ot plus 2 Yes, and if Kodara dimension is one and the minimal model is quasi elliptic, then the constant is like this. And otherwise, I just put it to be zero. So yeah, this is the definition of invariant. And you can see that the constant is actually birational invariant of the surface. And the second statement is that there exists a family of Bridgeland stabilities on the derived category of these surfaces. Yes, this is my main theorem. 
and I want to remark that uh, well sorry when the Kodaira dimension is less than or equal to one This was already known by this was already obtained by Langer in his paper published in 2016. So my main contribution is the case when S is a general type surface. And also, I have a theorem, I have a similar theorem in higher dimension also by, by restricting, by reducing to the surface case. And yeah, we have some quadratic inequality like this. And also we can prove the existence of family of tilt stability in higher dimension. Okay, this is my theorem. And I want to mention about comparison with Langa's result in 2004. Well, there's a previous result by Langer, which also works for general type surfaces, which is of the following form. The first term is usual discriminant, and we have a modified term something like this and here sh sheet reader is some some constant depending on the surface and p is the characteristic and importantly the modified term depends on fourth power of Chan zero. Okay. And so let me uh, just summarize the difference between Langer's inequality and and my main theorem. Firstly, uh, the, about the modified term, the Langer, Langer's result depends on the characteristic and also the modified term has force power of chan zero. On the other hand, mine, ha mine is independent on the characteristic and depends on chan zero square. So firstly, so as you would see, uh, Langer's, Langer's result recovers the uh, original BG inequality in characteristic zero by mod P reduction, because if P goes to infinity, the modified term goes to zero. On the other hand, mine is independent on the characteristic, so doesn't recover the original BG in characteristic zero. So in that sense, the, yeah, well, it's, that's the advantage of Langer's inequality. But on the other hand, 
if we fix the characteristic and and well take the chan zero sufficiently large, my inequality is better than become better than Langer's. And also the quadraticity of, of the modified term is very important for construction of bridge and stability conditions. So that is the advantage of my inequality. And well, for the proof, Langer's original proof use the sorry use the Frobenius proofax. I mean careful analysis of the stability of Frobenius proofax. So rarely involves the characteristic P method. But for me, it's a bit more elementary so that, yeah, the, yeah, we don't need the Frobenius probac in my proof. Okay, yeah, this is my main theorem and the difference with Langer's results. So let me move to the idea of the proof. So for simplicity, assume that uh, S is a surface with ample, ample canonical divisor and note that it is known that uh, 5ks is very ample well so yeah I want to give a sketch of proof of my inequality in this uh, in this case so let e be a, a slope stable sheaf sorry vector bundle and assume for contradiction that the quadratic this quadratic form is negative and yeah I want to uh, yeah I want to explain the idea of proof and why yeah why why such uh, modified term appear how it appears okay so So main idea is really simple that I will evaluate the Euler characteristic EE which is by Riemann Rojo sorry looks like this So here, uh, the discriminant naturally appears in Riemann Rojo. And by definition, it is bounded from above by home, home plus x2. And since I assume E is stable, the first term is just one. And for the second term, I use the cell duality to obtain uh, the home from E to E tensor K. 
canon card. And yeah, the main problem is bounding this second term from the above. So the next step for the next step, let's take a general element in in the linear system five five KS and then using using the assumption that quadratic form is negative, we can show that the stable sheaf restricted to the curve is again slope semi-stable. Yes. And what we do and yeah how how can I use this property? So I look at the exact sequence like this. From here, by using the stability stability of E, uh, we we have by applying the home E to something home this is bounded from above by this. But yeah, by stability, the first one vanish, and the second term is same as uh, home from E restricted to C to E tensor K S restricted to C. And the next step is well, so yeah, here is a very simple lemma. Let F be a slope semi stable sheaf on the curve C and let d be a non-negative integer. We have an inequality for home f to fd that is bounded by uh, from above by d plus one times Chan zero f square, and well, yeah, yeah, it's very easy lemma. We can prove it by induction on d, where when d goes to zero, well, by semi stability, we can, well, by decomposing it by. Jordan Helder filtration, we can bound the global section by chan zero square. And for for D positive, well we we consider the we have the I, by picking a point sorry maybe p is not good we have the standard exact sequence like this and here the yeah it be becomes just a vector space so yeah by adding one one chancel squ square yeah we obtain the bound by induction so it's really easy So let's 
apply this lemma to f equals to e restricted to c and d equals to ks times c which is 5k square so get a bound like this okay so Excuse, do you know that uh, E restricted to C is semi-stable? Yes, so this is the yeah, important point, mm -hmm. which, which I can prove by using the assumption that my quadratic fo form is negative. Uh -huh. and, and yeah, this actually, yeah, I, I borrowed the standard proof by Langer and actually, well, I proved that, well, this restriction theorem and the BG inequality at the same time, but, but, but by induction on the chan zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th thank you for the question. That's yeah, a very important point. Well, so yeah, yeah, it's important that we can assume E restricted to C is semi stable. And yeah, as I explained, home E E to E tensor KS is bounded from the restriction to the curve, which is bounded from above by 5k square plus 1 chan 0 square. So, so by combining them, we get uh, inequality like this. So, yeah, and hence delta plus Cs chan zero square bigger than y equal to zero, which contradicts the uh, original assumption here. Yeah, this is the way way I prove the theorem, and you you can see that well once we assume the the restriction theorem is true, the remaining computations are really elementary. That's my point, and well in the well, I can mention that in the original proof of Langer, he proves that, well, first, reduced to the case of strongly semi-stable sheaf, which is for every k, the case, case uh, well, iteration of Frobenius pullback remains slope semi stable, and and use the fact that if E is strongly semi stable, then Symmetric power of the vector bundle is again strongly semi stable. Well, and yeah, both of these steps are highly non trivial. So, well, to reduce to the strong semi stable case, we require the classical theorem, so called. Cartier descent theorem and also the well this is 
similar to the fact that tensor products, I mean, tensor products of semi-stable sheaves are again semi-stable in characteristic zero, which only which can only be proven for strongly semi-stable sheaves in positive characteristic. Yeah, both of these steps are really deep, deep. We, we should use deep results. Yes. So yeah, I think yeah, I explained the yeah how elementary my proof is. <laughs> well. Well, maybe. Well, let me just mention about a family of bridge and stabilities. So, in characteristic zero, we can visualize the Bogomolov uh, Zeka inequality as a parabola like this. And yeah, there's a family of stability conditions above this parabola. On the other hand, what I proved is here's a constant CS, and this is my Bohmorch Jizeka curve in positive characteristic, and what I've proven is there's family of stability conditions above this parabola. Yes. And yeah, I I hope I we can find several applications of this theory in positive characteristic. But yeah, that's my future yeah, problem. Okay, I stop here. Thank you very much. All right, let's thank Naoki. Any questions? Um, are there any technical problems other than sort of approaching it in the obvious way to try to do higher dimension tilt stabilities? Is there anything unusual? Uh, well, so I mean, to prove the Bogomolov inequality in in higher dimension of of my form, well, I should where where is that? Well, I should uh, prove the well definedness of this invariant. I mean, I should prove that this is uh, invariant under the choice of general hyperplanes. Which for which I have to use a minimal model program for three folds in positive characteristic, which is a recent development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Yeah, the point is that the invariant is defined by using the minimal model of the surface. So yeah, I should ensure that general hyperplane section has the yeah, minimal models of general hyperplane sections have same invariants. I missed it. In the proof of the theorem, were we talking about the minimal model? Uh, well, <laughs> well, I, for simplicity, I assume that, well, the surface is already minimal model. Okay. Yeah, but in general, I have to use the invariance of BG inequality under blow-ups. So to reduce to the minimal models. And and what kind of thing goes into the semi-stability restriction theorem? Uh, well, basically, uh, so uh, do, do you mean the proof of 
restriction theorem. Yeah, and step two at the beginning of step two. Yeah, yeah. So for for this, uh, well, I <laughs> yeah I assume that well my my inequality holds for well. rank less than I mean it's a kind of induction mm -hmm. assuming this inequality I would I I want I can show the restriction theorem so, so you take some kind of hardened RSM infiltration and since the factors satisfy the inequality then also the then also the bundle does or, uh -huh. or yeah, yeah okay or the, the filtration can't exist okay yeah we we take a pencil inside the complete the linear system and consider the uh, incidence varieties and then well think about the yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah the stability of the restriction is same as the stability with respect to the fiber class of this pencil and apply this assumption to say yeah to say the restriction remains semi-stable are there any other questions okay well if not let's thank naoki again thank you very much